Welcome back to Learn As You Explore for another MBOT 2 tutorial. In the last video, we implemented our first control theory concept. We learned about proportional control and implemented it in a block program. We then tested it on our MBOT 2 robot and noticed how much simpler and smoother it can make our line follower algorithm. In this video, we are going to make the robot smarter by combining line following with obstacle avoidance. As always, we will also test it on our robot and see our work in action. You'll be surprised how simple it is to do this. Before we dive in, here's a quick way to support my work. If you're planning to get an MBOT2, you can use my Amazon affiliate link in the description. It won't cost you extra, but as an Amazon associate, I earn from qualifying purchases. Or if you just want to say thanks, there's a buy me a coffee link down in the description too. All right, let's jump in. This video is going to be quick because we're going to be building on top of our advanced line follower project. If you haven't watched that video yet, I highly recommend watching that tutorial before continuing this one. I've added a link to the advanced line follower tutorial in the description. Let's first define the requirements for this project. I want the robot to continue following the line until it detects an obstacle 10 centimeters or closer. When it does detect an obstacle within 10 centimeters, the robot should stop and wait for the obstacle to be removed. Once the obstacle goes away, the robot should continue following the line. This will be your objective. Since you're already familiar with the concepts of both line following as well as obstacle avoidance, we will jump right into the programming part. First, open ide.mblock.cc. Now let's open our advanced line follower program that we saved previously. Go to File, Open, and select the Advanced Line Follower project that you've saved. Click OK. We don't want to change the Advanced Line Follower program directly. Instead, we want to create a new project and add obstacle avoidance to the new one. So go to File, Save As, and give the new project a different name. In this case, I'm going to call it Advanced Line Follower with Obstacle Avoidance, and say OK. All we need to do now is to add the logic for the obstacle avoidance part within the loop. We want the robot to stop driving if there is an obstacle 10 centimeters away or closer and continue following the line otherwise. So clearly this is an if then else condition. So let's get the if then else block. Now let's add the condition for the if block. This is going to be if the ultrasonic sensor reports a distance value of 10 or less. We want to do a less than comparison operation. So let's get the less than operator block from the operators category. From the ultrasonic sensor 2 category, let's get the distance to an object block and place that as the first operand. The second operand is a fixed 10 since we want to compare it to 10 centimeters. Add this operator block as the condition for our if block. So when there is an obstacle less than 10 centimeters away, we want to stop all the motors. So let's duplicate this stop encoder motor all block and insert it within our if condition. Finally, we want the robot to follow the line only in the else case. So let's drag this entire block of line follower code that we had under the repeat until block and put it into the else part of our if condition block. The last thing to do is to insert this entire if then else block within our loop. And we're done. Wasn't that super simple? Let's now upload the code to the robot and test it out. Make sure that the robot is powered on and is connected to your computer with the USB cable. If you're not sure how to do that, I'll add a link in the description to the exact timestamp from one of my previous videos where I show you how to do that. Once your robot is powered on and connected to your computer using the USB cable, click on Upload and then click on Serial. Select the USB serial device and click Connect. Great, your robot is now connected. Click on Upload Code. Wait for the upload to complete. And great, your code has now been uploaded. You can now unplug the USB cable from the robot. Great, let's head on over to the robot and see our program in action. For the setup, 
I have an obstacle that's blocking the robot's path along the line. Let's start the robot. It follows the line until it reaches the obstacle and stops approximately 10 centimeters away. Let's remove the obstacle and we see the robot continue following the line. We can dynamically introduce the obstacle at different points in time and observe that the robot stops and waits and proceeds only when the obstacle is cleared. Let's stop the robot now by pressing button A. A simple variation that you could try to do by yourself with a very simple change is to make the robot turn around 180 degrees when it encounters the obstacle. So instead of stopping the motors when it encounters an obstacle, you would command a 180 degree turn. Then the behavior would look something like this. Try it out and let me know in the comments if you got it or if you need help with that. Great job! You've added obstacle avoidance to the existing line follower block program. Don't forget to share your success with your friends and family. If you found value in this video, hit the like button and subscribe to learn as you explore for more MBOT2 tutorials. Here are some of my other videos that you may find helpful. Happy programming! And I'll see you in the next one.